Scotland. It's where I call home. And it's great to be back. Paul and I are here for the next few episodes to take you on a tour of the north of Ireland. Please join us. Welcome back to Derry. Behind us is the Guild Hall, which is the headquarters of Derry City and Straban District Council, and also home to the John Hume Peace Prize exhibition. There's free admission, so let's take a look inside. The Guild Hall was built by the Honourable the Irish Society and named in honour of the city's connection to the City of London and its guilds. Officially opened in 1890 as the administrative centre for Londonderry Corporation, today it is home to the Derry City Council Chamber. It is the only surviving Guild Hall still in civic use in Ireland. The Council is now in session. John Hume is credited with being the chief architect of the Good Friday Agreement of 1998. Thank you for watching our show today. Please continue to like, comment,
comment and subscribe. What have you got there, Paul? I have a guide to the Derry City Walls. Let's take a look. Derry London Derry has the most complete circuit of historic walls of any town or city in Ireland. They stand up to eight metres high, measure almost one mile around, and were constructed between 1613 and 1618. You know what? This reminds me of the walls, just like in Dubrovnik, which is so weird. Does it go around the whole city then? Yes, it does. And there are various places to stop off along the way. In fact, if you want to see most of the tourist spots, they will be somewhere off the walls. And there's a great view of the Guild Hall from the walls as well. Well, that's quite a collection of cannon we have here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Ah, we're coming up to Shipkey Street. This is one of the areas of Derry that I always remember when I used to come to visit here. I think it's because it's on a hill. And there are some shops up there probably cafes and restaurants as well. Wow, I didn't know this. It says that originally called Silver Street, Shipkey Street on a steep hill leading up to the diamond from the Keys was the centre of the city's trade. In the lower section, close by the gate, is the former Customs House erected in 1741. So you can see the wall takes you the whole way around the city. And I guess some of the points of note include number eight, which is St. Columns Cathedral and number 13, which is St. Augustine's Church. What do you see on your map, Paul? Uh, lots of interesting things like the Heritage Tower, St. Columba, St. Augustine's. But I think everything seems to be within this perimeter, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> This is interesting. In 1987, the artist Anthony Gormley installed three double cast iron body cases, sculpture for Derry walls. This is one of them here, and we can actually see it in real life. Over there, but there's a tour going on at the moment, so we can't get any closer. The tour has just finished. <laughs> So we are going to have a look at the sculpture. What's it called again? Looking in, looking out. So which one's looking in? I don't know. <laughs> Looks that <like> you're looking in. Paul, Shame. don't you realise this isn't Dubrovnik? Oh, right. Sorry. Oh, look, you're never far away from Derry Girls here. You know something? Hmm? This even reminds me of the Dubrovnik city walls because of the incline that we had to climb do you remember that well this next bit is extremely steep so let's get moving another side of the wall you're scaring pigeons maybe it's easier if i walk backwards maybe it would be easier going back later Actually, it is easier. I've never tried this before. Walking up a hill backwards. Huh.
Well, that was a lot easier. I'd recommend it. Maybe not on steps, though. That's not on your member's name. Crazy. Oh, there's a lot of that, though. Well, we've made it to the top of the hill and we are now at Ferry Key. Ferry Key Gate, in fact. Yeah. And I think that looks out onto the diamond. Didn't we look up from there before? Yeah, we were on Ship Key Street before. Yeah, I think that it's like an intersection point. Yes. Well, you're never far away from some sort of mural and in this area you can see that the curbs have been painted red, white and blue, symbolising the Union flag. I believe this is St. Columns Cathedral. It's a magnificent building and there is some gardening work going on today. Isn't it peaceful within the grounds? Yeah, it is. St. Columns Cathedral was built in 1633 by the City of London. As one of the first cathedrals to be built after the Protestant Reformation, it was quite plain, but has been added to significantly since. I don't know, but I think there's something to be said about this walking backwards, because it's a little bit hilly in the churchyard here as well. And it really is a lot easier. Are you doing it now too, Paul? What do you think? Yeah. Bye bye. it's going to reduce the number of steps that we've done because it'll then go in reverse. I think it burns more calories now. I don't know, but I've never even thought about this before. Do you know what I like about this whole walled city aspect? That there are exits along the way, like every every few hundred meters or so, or I think I'm messing that up, but every so often you will see exits and it will give you a reprieve if you want to go down for whatever reason, just like this right here. But we are going to continue with our extended wall trip. Look at this. It's called the Poetry Jukebox. Step inside the gates and turn the handle until the silver button goes red. Keep pressing the silver button to choose your poem and enjoy. Oh, I think I'm going to try this. What's this? It's the Poetry Jukebox. 
I don't know what that is. So it says I have to press this button until it goes red. Oh, is it not working? Is it out of battery? I don't know. This is disappointing. Do you not pull the lever or something? Oh. Oh, look. Look at this. It says, wind me up. Turn handle seven or eight rotations until the red light shows. It didn't say that outside, did it? Oh. The red light's on, right? Yeah. Okay, we've got power. Keep pressing until we get one. What shall we have? It's up to you. That's a Brian Kirk right at the bottom. Now what? Does he need more power? At most, I think this is just gonna be good for your exercise. I think so. Oh well. Sorry. It's a nice idea, but it's not working. So this is the view from the double bastion. I wonder what view I'm supposed to be seeing. I think back in the day, it would be open fields and I think this would be the area where they would be defending against the fort from outside invaders. Oh, look at this. It's St. Augustine's Church. I'm not sure we can get in though. I think it's closed. Well, there's certainly a lock on this gate. But we can have a little look in. Lovely flowers. What's this, Paul? But I think this is a very good um, illustration of the troubles and what it did to this community. So I I think I'm deeply impactable. I think I could appreciate the difficulties that the area have gone through. It just opens your eyes to see all this division that once was. It's kind of sad actually. So that's the diamond again from the other side this time. Look, there's where we started. Just where? down there, the tourist information. No kidding. Yeah. So we will have completed the entire revolution. Wow. The end is near. Yeah, we have done the complete round of the walls. This is where we started and this is where we finish. So, what did you think of it, Paul? It's incredible that this structure, these walls were built for defense, and then it was here because of the troubles, and it's oh, mind-blowing. Yeah, if these walls could talk. We'll see you next time on our trip around the north of Ireland. Bye for now.